Hey you guys, welcome back. This is Liz. I have a quick flip through for you guys. This is a baby journal. So last time I had a, I think I had that big ledger. Um, so I did something big. That was the biggest I've done. This is the smallest I've ever done and it's a repurposed book. Let's see. Actually, it's, it's three and a half, like three and a half by five and a half. I always forget to measure. Um, I'm always forgetting to measure the books when I'm doing these things. So they're, they're usually in my listing on Etsy. Um, so the closure, I just have this, this, uh, like regular ombre dyed ribbon. It, it matched really well with the cover. Um, and the spine. Have over one almost one and a quarter so this was like a an old radio um handbook it had some really cool illustrations the paper was super super thin so I, so i didn't use it in here um so as you can see for the cover i did some some gold gilding um some wax like around the edges in this window so in this window is a piece of an original antique oh i'm sorry you guys i'm filming at night so it's i hope the light's okay it's a piece of an original antique French, um, I think it's acrylic on canvas, uh, painting. So I've actually cut a part out to put in the window. It's very beautiful, very special. Um, it took me a while to, to actually start the cutting and to figure out, you know, how I wanted to incorporate it. Cause I, I specifically got these to incorporate them into journals. So this is very, very special. Um, and you have a label here. So this can come out. That's just a piece, you know, a piece of old ledger. You can pop in and out. So that's the cover. That's the back. All right, let's see what, see what's going on in here. So on the inside, I have lined it with this fabric front and the back. This is newer fabric. This is some antique French fabric right here. So the spine is, you know, it's reinforced with some, uh, some book tape and then this fabric. So it's, it's fine. It's not going anywhere. I didn't sew the signatures into the spine, but she's sturdy. All right. So on the first page, I clipped this. This is a 1700s book page that I did a label on. It was part of a title page and I loved it. And I didn't want to glue it anywhere or make it permanent, so I just clipped it to the front page right here. Here's some wallpaper. As usual in my journals, I do a lot of collaging with wallpaper and things like that. Here's some more antique French wallpaper. Now this one I just clipped it, it's, it's rolling up, see? But I just clipped it in there. I, I wanted to use this at other places, but I didn't use it all, so um, that can be used elsewhere. Um, this is one of my original French pieces that I printed on some ledger. Make sure I stay in frame. Uh, antique French ledger, some wallpaper. I tried to stick with some greens and golds in here. I don't have a lot of, um, a lot of green wallpaper. Like I have mostly blue and pinks. So there's a lot of pink in here. Um, so I tried my best to kind of, you know, stick with, stick with these colors. Of course it didn't work. I, I'm usually all over the place with stuff like that. So, okay, here's some original wallpaper. This is, this is not original. This is a print. This is one of mine that I scanned. Isn't it pretty? This is the gold part right here. You can see it's kind of a yellowish color. Uh, avocado dyed paper, uh, antique French wallpaper. Here is a little belly band. Let's see, there's another label. This is all, I think all the labels in here are on original like 1700s book page. And in the belly band, what did I put? So I have this card, this antique card. Here's a vintage flash card. These are cool because they're a, it's a really neat shape. And here's a wallpaper label that I stamped out and cut out. So that can be used elsewhere. I'm not gonna take, if the pocket's at a weird angle, I'll tell you what's in the pocket so I'm not sitting here fumbling around on camera. So in here is some uh, antique French 
uh, book page, not a handwritten notebook page. There we go. Here's one of mine that I have scanned. Antique wallpaper that's not French, that's American. There's a little gold in there, you see that? It's really pretty, I like this little flowers. Here's some more of that wallpaper. It's a nice blank spread. This is some antique French fabric. It's, um, well I used it because it was pink and polka dots. I love polka dots. Uh, but it has like a little bit of texture. You can, you can feel the woven black in there. Um, let's see, in here, here's a little, uh, from a scrapbook pad, like a cutout. And here's a piece of um, wallpaper that I wanted to use because it had a lot of green in it, but I didn't use it. So, she got put in that pocket. Just more collaging. Oops, I'm sorry. I keep like wanting to bring the book towards me. I'm like, I'm like 10, 12 inches from the screen, so I keep trying to scoot it close to me. Sorry, guys. All right, so this folds out. There's a lot of fold outs and pull outs, I guess you could call it. Uh, there's some wallpaper, some of that green wallpaper that I collaged a lot with in this top of course I can't get it out I'll show you guys if I see it and another um, piece that I scanned in there right. this, okay so this flips out this was a piece of a this was a book page that had the right colors in it so it went in there that flips out that folds over here is a little tag I think most of the tags in here are back to that pink avocado dead paper. Tried to, I tried to stay consistent as much as I can. I do not like consistency with my journals though. I like kind of being spontaneous and doing the unex unexpected. So here's the wallpaper that was in that pocket that I couldn't get out. It's got really pretty uh, white roses on it, gold. It's still, you see that, how it came off on my finger, that, that thin powdery stuff so very pretty um this is that uh the ledger that i printed on okay second signature here's a vintage i think it's vin i don't think it's antique i think this is a vintage french envelope um so this the pocket's on the side but i, I didn't glue the flap down so you can leave it as is or glue it down here's some antique french fabric this is a piece of antique ledger. I folded the page. It was teeny enough to fold and put it in here. There's some more of that French fabric. Here's some antique. This is some German like parchment. Uh, I guess it's parchment paper. Uh, antique ledger. Here's some antique French wallpaper that I put on the spine. This stuff is. This stuff is. It looks like velvet. I don't know if you can get a good. It just, there's some, it just looks like velvet, some of the spots and the colors, it's so bright. I got another roll that, that's kind of like that, it mimics it. Um, here's a label that I did on some antique music paper. This is a botanical page, but again, I used it because it had some purple and green wallpaper and a pocket. So here's a, another pretty gold embossed label, isn't that pretty? and some vintage tags, some authentic vintage tags tucked in there. Uh, some antique wallpaper, straw paper. This is just some like Irish linen that I stamped on. I like doing that. Here is some antique French wallpaper and this stuff is textured, but it's kind of cool because it, the stripes feel different than the floral. The floral feels kind of like, it's rougher, almost like a sandpaper. And this is like smooth. So it's the first wallpaper I've ever had where it was two different textures. So that was really neat, very pretty. All right, here is a nice center spread. This is, this is again a, an original French piece that I scanned. Um, this is just a little journaling card. It's like the size of a playing card, it's so cute. I found this little piece from a ledger, but it says Paris and it's got some little info down there. And this is some antique French wallpaper. This this part, this uh, German Dresden thing right here, this is glued on, so it's it's not going anywhere. But I just thought it framed the 
the wallpaper really good. I love doing that. And some more uh, antique French wallpaper. Here's another cut apart. This is uh, like from a Maggie Holmes pad. And here's the other side of that botanical page pocket. Here's some wallpaper that I put in there. There's some more of that green, that pretty golden green that I used. Okay, here's the other side of the ledger. It folds out. Let's see, look. I don't know if you can get a good. Do you see it kind of looks like velvet, especially where this mustard yellow color is? It just, every time I look at it, I want to touch it and think that it's going to be like crushed velvet. Very pretty. Other side of that parchment and the envelope. And let's see what I got in here. Here's some, oh yeah, I put, this is a piece from an, a ledger, but I don't know if you guys has, have watched me before, you know, I have this ledger that someone used wax to adhere other pieces of paper to it, like glue. So this is one of those where it has the wax seal on the back. Well, not on the back, I guess, sandwiched in between the papers. It's really pretty. I think these are like the 1830s. I think this is 1830s. And here's a piece of a antique receipt that I, I labeled, uh, stamped the label and cut out. And piano paper. Here's some antique French wallpaper. This folds out. Here's some 1700s book page. That's some uh, 1800s French ledger. Just a little bitty bit. This book was little, so it was it was tricky to use smaller pieces because I, I normally want to use whole sheets of wallpaper as a page or as a pocket, and the pockets are usually the size of a whole page, so I had to do some adjusting. Okay, this is some antique French wallpaper. I've used like similar wallpaper like this to line uh, envelopes because it just works so good. Um, there's some antique French ledger with a, an embossed label on it. That's antique French wallpaper. Some of this avocado paper I, I kind of sparkled with some gold, gold mist. Here's a piece from a vintage embroidery book. There's some antique French wallpaper. I love this book because I love I love black and white illustrations like that. There's some French antique French ledger. These things are upside down, but the print is right side up. So I put it print right side up. These emblems are upside down. More wallpaper, some antique French wallpaper. That looks really cute. This is a um, like an antique tag. <laughs> I had to think of the word tag. It's so late here. I'm running behind. Here's some collage with some antique ephemera, like ledger and um, this was a, a receipt as well. Here is some, um, I don't know what this is, what is this? This is a piece of French of antique, uh, one year from antique, 1923, 1923. Almost antique, we'll call it antique. Like a French paper. And more collaging. Here's another one of my originals that I've scanned. This is a little, that you can put something in. Let me get like a little card. I need something stiff. So you can put something in there. It's glued obviously, you know, around the edges right here. And you've got the opening here. Um, so there's a little window for you. There's some collaging. Here I put some, some of this washi tape. I used some of this in here. Um, I love this washi tape. It's very, it's kind of dainty, isn't it? Like watercolors, dainty. So, put some of that in there. I hope I didn't, there's a pocket. I was just about to say, I hope I didn't miss a pocket and I missed a pocket. So, I will put something in this pocket. I hope I didn't miss any more, but I usually miss, I'm terrible at that. So, I'll put something in there. This is the other side of that um, antique French. It's like a tag. I think that, that was a tag. I have two of them. Well, I have two similar to that one here, and I got one in the back that's very similar. So, um, let me mark this so I know to put something there. And 
Here's the other side of the ledger. Nice fold out. Here's an antique French wallpaper pocket with a tag. And this, this, this die cut, little cameo die cut frame is glued on, so it's not going anywhere. And more avocado dyed paper, wallpaper, um, wallpaper, wallpaper. Mm -hmm. This is really pretty. I love the colors on this one. Um, here's some of the piano roll paper that I did some embossing on with white. I was experimenting with the white. Let's see how it looked. I like it. I like the white on tan. Um, so for this one, I folded, you know, the sheet over. Here was the, the end of it, as you can see, like the kind of label and stuff like that. And I put some ledger, antique French ledger in there. So that's a full page that's folded. Uh, here's another label or an embossed, embossed label. Here is a tag I used as a page. Kind of made, made a hinge right here and stuck her in. This is a piece I scanned. This is a piece that, um, from an antique book, like I'll get, I love it when you can see the chapter, right? Very vaguely, like it's so light. Um, but I like to cut out the chapters, like use a label stamp, cut out the, either the chapter itself. And sometimes the chapter will have these itty bitty little quotes on it. So every time I get an antique book, like when I'm gutting it or, or otherwise going through it, whatever, looking at the pages, I always check the chapters to see how how they're organized and how they're laid out to see if I can use them for labels. So that's a little tip. Um, they're always great and the font's always great. So here's some antique French wallpaper, really light, but it has a little bit of red in it. And some collaging. Here's a double pocket. So here's a baby baby photo down here and here I folded this this is one of those like long agenda long agenda piece it's not gonna get in the frame but anyway from the Angie French agenda ledger so I managed to fit that in there it was really hard trying to find stuff that would fit in here without you know tearing the stuff up um, here's like a little ruffle. Here's an antique. This this is cool because this is American. I usually don't find American envelopes this old. This is I think this is 19. This one's 1916, but I thought this was 1902. Um, it's hard for me to. It's hard. I hardly ever find any that are. Let's see, 1920s or 30s and earlier. Um, anything like 19, I have a small stash of some that's 1902, 1901. Um, it just, see, yeah, I have them right here. It's from the, yeah, it's from the same stash. That's why I was thinking it was earlier. Um, it's just so hard to find. It was America, like compared to France and, you know, other places in Europe. America is such a new, such a baby country. So 1902. So anytime I get envelopes or letters like this that are American, I get super excited because uh, they're kind of hard to come by. At least for me, they're harder to come by if I don't want to pay two arms and a leg for them, right? There's <laughs> a lot of serious collectors that are willing to go higher than I am on eBay. Okay, moving on. In here, I put a piece of that really pretty textured uh, French antique French wallpaper. Trying to be very careful. Okay, there we go. Uh, here's some 1600s antique French book page that I collage on the back of this envelope. Some antique uh, receipt. More antique French wallpaper. This is a big fold out. Here's some antique French wallpaper. This is from that the same roll that, that I was talking about, this kind of velvety looking. Auto dad paper. Here's some ledger. Here's a little pocket with the receipt in it that's folded. So you got the whole receipt from that same roll. It's so pretty. Uh, here's another double pocket with the little baby photo. And here I have 
It's going to be so hard to pull out. But they will. Okay. Here's a piece of antique French ledger with an embossed, a gold embossed label. Here's some wallpaper. I'm going to have to pull that card. I can't do it on camera, aren't I? <laughs> almost, almost. Okay, gotcha. Um, here is some, what's this? Here's some antique wallpaper. This is the other side of that piece that I scanned. Here's some old photos. There's another label. This was at the end, um, at the end of the chapter, right? So it is at the end of the book, fittingly. It went rather well. And here's here's a antique label that, I mean, label tag. You can see what I was saying. It's kind of like the other one. Of course I can't like, of course I can't flip to it. There it is. See. So. And that's it. So I will go back and put, put something in this pocket that I missed. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for stopping by.